Hey, it's Sunday, and I have a couple of things to talk about in detail. Not a whole lot to shoot. That are, I have a lot of things to talk about in detail, but I did not shoot a whole lot during the week. First thing is I've committed to another Spartan race. That's a big deal. <laughs> I got sick for the first part of the week. So, I mean, I was ill, down hard, missed the first day of work last week. It was pretty brutal. Um, as you saw last week, I was sick. I mean, I just, it carried on. I'm just now starting to feel where I'm recovered. From where I'm at, I think looking at a realistic training schedule, uh, it's probably going to be September before I'm ready to run a Spartan race. This puts me in a bit of a dilemma because... The Indiana Spartan race is in either June or July, which is too soon. I won't be able to run it, or I won't be ready to run it, uh, which means I'll probably have to go to Pittsburgh in October. There's one that's possible to run in Nashville. That's not too terribly far away, but still, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how it all breaks out. Now, to do this, I realized I don't have, I have 168 hours in the week, just like everyone else. So I have to do something to make sure I'm doing what I need to do. So I've made myself a schedule. It has 168 slots, and what I did is I set up a typical week of everything. That includes training for Spartan Race, that includes working on master's degree, that includes going to work, that includes sleep, and there's some gray areas that I literally made gray in there that are kind of flexible times. Um, they're maybe set aside for the master's degree, but some nights I work late. There's nothing I can do but get home later and then work on the masters if I still get home in time. Um, the big thing is to make time for the training because I've been failing at that quite a bit lately. The other big thing is I stepped on a scale this week. Let me give you the raw reaction. Comment while the sting is still fresh. I, uh, I got on the scale at work here which is for shipping freight. And I am close, I'm within 30 pounds of my weight when I started this whole project. I knew I'd put some weight on. I was looking for a number 20 pounds or so less than what I weigh right now, around 380 pounds. I'm right around 400 to 402, depending on what point. Because once I weighed myself, I weighed myself three times through the day uh, different liquid levels in the body just to make sure that there wasn't anything crazy. Uh, I weighed myself three times just to get a nice average and I from 390 something to 402 right in that area throughout the day. Um, so I got some work to do. I'm going to do a Spartan race in September. That's the plan right now. And So I got a lot of work to get there anyway, and then I've got, I would really like to lose at least 50 pounds by then, if not closer to 70. So um, I'm going to have to start doing the things that worked for me before. The hard thing is with this schedule I have is finding the exercise time, but I got to find it. If I'm going to run a Spartan race, I got to find it. Um, not just to lose weight, but to be able to complete that race, I got to find the time. <sighs> so I'm, I guess the good news is I didn't gain all the weight back. Um, the good news is my body composition is different because I am much stronger now than I was when I started this. I'm able to, right now, I can go, I know I can go walk a couple miles. When I started this, I couldn't. So I guess I'm in a better place than when I started. I'm just not real thrilled with where I want to be. I mean, honestly, I wouldn't care what the scale says. I wouldn't care if the scale said 400 pounds if I was 6% body fat. Look like the Hulk. But anyway, uh, yeah, it's just, I'm not real happy. I'm a little sad about it, but not overwhelmingly sad. I just know the work that I have to do, and I just got to get to work. I just don't have any emotion about it anymore. I just got to do the right things and, and get it done, man. I got other things to worry about than weight. So let's get this weight thing under control. Let's, let's get on this.
Rock on. Okay, so I'm at 400 pounds. It's disappointing that I'm that heavy again. I sat down and looked at it and I said, okay, let's do a true assessment. Where I'm at? Let's just take a look at it. And I want to make it clear. Um, I wouldn't care that I was 400 pounds if I was 6% body fat, but I'm a little more than that. So I went and looked at, just to give you an idea what I'm dealing with, because these numbers don't make sense to a lot of people, because when you're up at 400 pounds and your goal weight is still higher than most people, most two people, um, the numbers get a little screwy. Uh, the calculation is to maintain the weight I'm at, I would have to eat 3,340 calories a day. To lose weight, I should be eating somewhere around 2,840 to 3,000 calories a day. That is about three times what mere mortals typically consume. But then also you look on those charts and you look on, and I've done a lot of research, and the best I can come up with is once you get to a certain point, the body mass index fails because what it says is my heaviest weight should be 200 pounds. Anybody that knew me in high school uh, saw me my senior year where I was only 6'1". I was only six foot. So, I mean, I was like three or four inches shorter than I am now. And it was all I could do to stay down at 198 to wrestle. So 200 is not a realistic goal. Um, at least I don't think so. We'll see. So what I've done is I've decided to have two, two goal steps right now and then an evaluation at that point. The first goal is 330 pounds to be done by September 30th. Uh, that should be allow me to lose at a healthy rate. Uh, that's not a crash diet. That's a few pounds a week um, to get down to 330 pounds by the end of September. Then the last 30 pounds, because I'm going for 300 right now, the goal is to get to 300 by January 1, 2018. Again, that gives me plenty of time to do it. That gives me basically 90 days to lose 30 pounds, which is still a couple pounds a week. That one will probably be harder. By the time I hit 330, I will have lost 70 pounds. All right, and that means that uh, my body will be adjusting to that. And I'm, that 300 goal may end up being a little, uh, by January 1st, may end up being a little bit, um, a little bit amb ambitious. Uh, once you've lost roughly 25% of your body weight, 20 to 25 percent, uh, your body does a few things that it fights more loss. It thinks something's wrong. That's the other thing I want to talk about. Um, I'm not using it as an excuse, but I want to make sure that everybody understands. Genetics count for a lot. If you look at the males on my dad's side, going back several generations, we all are built the same. It's easy for us to get fat. It's easy for us to carry a lot of weight in the chest and belly. I know we're not the only people like that, but it's real easy for us. So I am fighting some genetics, but that's not an excuse. It just means that I have to work harder and I have to make sure that I'm adjusting and doing things that make sense. If you're going on this journey with me, I want to make sure that you're clear about something. I want us to, I want us to have an understanding. I want us to be clear about what's going on here. This is not going to be pretty. This is going to, a lot of it's going to suck. Um, it's going to be hard work. It's going to be tedious. It's going to be routine. It's going to be me saying similar things over and over about what I'm trying to do because there's nothing fancy about it. You go out, you do the work. So what I've done is I made a plan, which I did the schedule. So I planned my work and now I have to work my plan. Uh, the only way to make it successful is for me to do the work. There are going to be ugly wins. A lot of these wins that I hope to have and achieve will be ugly. They won't be pretty, like I said. They'll be through adversity. It'll be through pushing through stuff that just... And, and some of it's not going to be a win the way I want it to be a win. And I'm just going to have to look for the win in it. I've lost... I'm losing, re-losing that 70 pounds. I'm getting down to 330. I've been there uh, within the last couple of years. So I know I can do it. This is not a can I do it. It's a yeah, I can do it. The problem is... I shouldn't say it's a problem. The problem is getting getting it to it in a manner that I can maintain it and in a lifestyle that I'm happy with. Uh, that means that some of the things that I do, I'm going to have to do even if I don't like them. Even after I get where I want to be, I'm going to have to keep doing stuff that maybe 
I'd prefer not to have to do, but it's just part of the maintenance. That rolls back into awesome is no accident. So I'm not going to lose 70 pounds by accident. And then if I do, that's probably going to be a worse story than if I lose it on purpose because it would mean something horribly, went horribly wrong. What I'm going to attempt to do with the video is to actually shoot during the week when I'm doing these things to actually pull out the action cam, which distorts things a little bit on the edges, as everyone knows. And, um, and just get it so you see what I'm actually doing. So you guys can see what I'm going through, what I'm trying to do, and how things hopefully will be achieved. That way I hope to show you what works and, and what doesn't. I know a lot of things that do work for me, and so I will try to use those and stick to those as much as possible. All right, well, that's it for this week. That's been a lot of numbers and me just rolling on and on and on. But um, remember, I love you. Uh, make a great week. And uh, rock on. Brown eyes that kill I thought I'd begun the rest of my life She held my hand Well no, she held my heart And then she disappeared She never told me